Hello everyone and welcome again to the YouTube channel for St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Rob Kirby, the current Senior Warden, and this short video slideshow is to provide you with a summary of our mission planning for 2016 in the context of our financial budget for the year. Our annual parish meeting will be held on February 28, 2016, and the information presented here is intended to supplement the financial reporting that will be shared at that session, and perhaps to reach out to a broader audience than those that will be able to attend the meeting in person. In this brief video, I'll cover the steps that we used to arrive at our parish's budget, the mission priorities established by our leadership in the fourth quarter of 2015, the results of the annual giving campaign, the 2016 operating budget, and a summary of the incremental mission activities which are enabled by that 2016 budget. There is a separate video production which provides a look at the 2015 year in review, which provides a bit of a prequel to the material shared here, so I hope you'll take the time to have a look at that as well. So let's look at where St. Martin's community is headed in 2016 from the financial and mission perspective. It's often repeated that budgets are moral documents which reflect the ethics and priorities of their respective institutions. This is true of the budgets of governments, families, and indeed churches, and it's certainly no different for St. Martin's. So the Vestry's budget development process begins by assessing our current mission activities and setting priorities for incremental mission needs. These steps are illustrated on the slide as the first two of the high-level steps in a five-step process. And of course, at each step throughout the process, prayer is a key component of the discernment process. The mission priorities were published in association with the annual giving campaign, where we solicited and collected pledges from the parish members, and then our revenue budget was developed based on the amounts pledged by our membership. Next, we reconciled the current and future mission priorities versus the revenue forecasted to develop a balanced budget. And then finally, with all that work done, in December of 2015, the Vestry then approved the budget for 2016. This next slide highlights the mission priorities set by the Vestry at the outset of our process. We first identified the need for additional ordained clergy support and the need to increase funding in order to attract a hospitality kitchen coordinator for all of the activities that go on in our parish kitchen. The Vestry also felt that the parish staff were deserving of compensation increases which had been delayed or deferred over several years. We recognized the need to fund repairs to the leaking breezeway roof and to expand support for several key ministry areas as shown on this slide. Overall, it was identified that the budget would need to grow by an ambitious 10% to fund all of these mission priorities. With the Vestry having set its mission priorities in the late fall, we began the 2016 annual giving campaign in November. The campaign adopted the theme of all mission, all together, all the time, to reflect our mission focus as a parish, our solidarity as a church family, and our full-time commitment to God's purposes. The results of the campaign are presented on this slide. The graph on the right compares the total amount of pledges received from the years 2013 to the year 2016. As you can see, by early December, the parish had received pledges in excess of the 10% growth needed to fund the mission priorities. And by mid-January, with the late arriving pledges trickling in, the final tally reflected a 14% year-over-year growth in the total amount pledged. These results demonstrate the faithfulness of God's provision through the generosity of the people of St. Martin's. Based upon the pledges received, the 2016 revenue budget shapes up as is depicted here. As is typical, the revenue budget for pledges is discounted by 5% to provide a bit of cushion for the revenue forecast for the year. Note also that the Vestry elected to direct $20,000 from the 2015 budget surplus into the 2016 operating budget to ensure sufficient funds to support the primary mission priorities. The resulting total amount of the 2016 budget reflects an 18% year-over-year increase compared to the 2015 budget. This next slide shows the allocation of the $741,000 budget across the primary expense categories. About 62% of the parish's operating expenses, or about $459,000, are personnel costs. These include salary, benefits, pension, and development costs for our six full-time and now three part-time staff members. Do bear in mind that the staff of St. Martin's are engaged in mission in virtually all the other expense categories. As a percentage of the total budget, personnel costs for 2016 mirror those of 2015. The expense categories which saw the largest growth for 2016 are worship and parish life, which grew by 68%, and the mission board allocation, which rose by 25%. The resulting 2016 budget enables the continuation of all of our 2015 mission programs 
and additional funding support for many incremental mission activities. This slide presents the full list of incremental items that are funded in the 2016 budget. Through God's provision, all of the primary mission activities and priorities set by the vestry at the onset of the process have been met. So that's it, a quick summary of St. Martin's budget and mission plans for 2016. No doubt it's sure to be an exciting year in the life of our happening parish. Thanks for taking the time to watch the presentation. I hope you found the information to be interesting and compelling. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to contact any vestry member or yours truly. Many thanks are due to Bill Short, our treasurer, Jane Thompson, our financial secretary, and the entire finance committee for their outstanding work in managing our parish finances and their hard work in supporting the development of our 2016 budget. God has been most faithful in providing just what we need in resources to do mission at St. Martin's. And perhaps God's provided just what we can handle in 2016 as we continue to grow in numbers and in scope. Indeed, the Spirit continues to move through our parish, and by faith may we use the gifts of our church family to serve God's purposes through our many, many parish ministries. Thanks for watching.